Hey guys, welcome to Melody's Workbench. Today, we're going to be making a desk lamp with a magenta card, just for me, my dad. This is going to be fun. So let's get into this bright idea. Literally. So, as you heard in the intro, today I'm making a desk lamp. Here, my dad is explaining what the desk lamp's going to look like. And here, I have some wood, which I'm going to choose out for my, well, desk lamp. And there are some really good choices here. <laughs> One of my dad's favorite, white oak. And I chose this pink colored wood. I don't remember what it's called, but it's a pink color. And we're going to use the white oak for the base. And here my dad's explaining what it, the shape's going to be of the desk lamp and explaining how it's going to work. <laughs> and he's also explaining how high I want it. And I decided about six inches to a foot because <laughs> I want it to be about a... Nice average height. <laughs> now here I'm making marks on where I'm gonna cut the saws. My dad's been teaching me this for a few years and I'm putting up this knife to a square. And here I'm now cutting the wood. It's a fun thing to do. My dad starts the cutting and then I cut. I'm used to doing it with the Japanese saw, but it's fun doing it with new saws as well. <laughs> Here's a little jumps in my cutting. It's not easy, <laughs> even though I've been doing it for like four years. <laughs> and I'm cutting out the base and it's white oak. <laughs> And now we're deciding on how high it's going to go and where the peg is going to be put in. <laughs> and now we're making the peg. <laughs> we're using a um, tool, I can't remember what it's called, to make the marks to see how long it's going to be. And now my dad is explaining that I'm going to make one that's about three times bigger than the peg so that it is bigger thing clamps onto the peg. And I'm using this thing again to make the markings. <laughs> I can climb them. Very fun to do. Even though it's really now I'm using the Japanese saw, one of my favorite saws, and the saw I grew up with, and I'm sawing up the wood, making the peg, it's going off a little line, and my dad taught me how to curve back onto the line. It takes a lot of work, <laughs> but when it's finished, it's good. And now I'm working on the thing that's going to clamp the peg. I keep the same things. <laughs> and here my dad is explaining how he saws. <laughs> Back and forth, and he's using a big saw. <laughs> and done. Now I'm using another saw, the saw I was first using, and cutting out the peg. <laughs> and it's going to be a square peg. <laughs> and now I'm doing the thing that's going to clamp the peg. <laughs> we had a little bit of a break. We didn't go. And now my dad is explaining on doing, on making these smooth with a plane. I can't quite remember what number this is, but I kind of liked plane. He's taught me how to use planing, and here he's teaching me to do it at the two, and, the, and now here we're discussing the level, and where the clamp is going to go. The clamp thing. And we're planing out the clamp blue. Clamp blue. That's what I'm gonna call it. 
and I'm planning it, and my dad's helping me a little. Put the weight on the back. He told me to push on the toe, and then push on the heel, with no weight on the toe. Or just push all the weight on the toe, no weight on the heel. And now here we're making marks on the clample on where the peg's gonna go, so I can adjust the angles for my desk lamp. <laughs> And now I'm using this square thing again to make the markings. And now here my dad is explaining how to use a mirror to cut stuff. And I like cutting stuff at a specific angle. He's teaching to cut at a 90 degree angle. But I like to cut at this type of angle. <laughs> it's just easier, a 45 degree angle. Now here I'm using a drill. It's easier for me just to turn than just hold and turn. So my dad's holding it for me while I turn. I'm making a hole for the peg. This is one of my favorite things to do. Because <laughs> it's so easy, just turn. But we're gonna first start with the circular hole. Then we're gonna chisel the hole. And then okay, stop. we'll Let's show, then shows the See begging the question. Now what we can okay, do I'm going to ask it later. We're drilling the hole side. for the peg. Two-sided. It's just easier this way. And Got makes a, a nice clean hole. Now, here's the question. Hello from my finger. <laughs> Get a square peg. And now, how does a square peg fit in a round how hole? Well, I will answer that question. Chisel. Good work. I can't. <laughs> so now we're chiseling out a the circle to make a square hole. <laughs> so that's the peg can fit in. <laughs> and it's kind of fun because I get to hit the mallet while Dad holds the chisel. And we're making some adjustments so it can just fit in right. <laughs> Dad chiseling away. And now we've made it. About okay, the perfect tap. fit. Now to do the other side. Boom, okay, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> this is quite fun for a okay, 10 years old who's <laughs> been doing okay. woodwork for four years. <laughs> Since we're chiseling, let's chisel this. Now we're gonna chisel out this Take thing, out. this block, so farther. that the peg can fit in. Doing the chiseling, and Dad is just gonna get it right so it can fit. I think so. Let's see. And it didn't quite fit, so he made some adjustments. Now Dad is explaining on how we're gonna put in the lamp and how it can be adjusted in height. And I'm holding the peg. <laughs> And now we're drilling the holes, which that peg that you see it's going to fit in. So this can fit in or hold at its specific angle into the base. And I get to use a drill again. It is so much fun doing the drill. We did have a little of a crack, but it wasn't such a big deal. Good. Do the checks. Woo! And here I'm cutting out the peg, which is gonna keep this in place. Now we're drilling out the holes for the lantern. And here we gotta measure how big they are. Basically, <laughs> their radius. Is that correct? <laughs> and now here we're drilling. And we're drilling another hole one for the peg to fit in, and one just for the wire to fit in. And here we're wiring it through, through, sorry. That's red. And we go. just there fitting it in, right. And now oh, we're nice. drilling some holes and I dance, cause I like dancing. And here we're drilling again. Drilling a lot of holes in this big peg. Four holes to be exact. Lots of holes. And now here, we're getting in a 
screw to fit in into the peg and into the Among Us piece because it looks like an Among Us character. Don't you agree with me? <laughs> You'll see the finish. And we're making sure the nail fits, I mean the screw fits right in. So it'll be something like this. And we're now this, gonna make some curves so we can make it go higher. And now my dad wants me to go find a tool. And <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen this tool, so I had a little trouble finding it. It's been like years since I've seen it. Nope, found the there you go, and then I found the tool, finally. A little bit off the corner. And we're well, gonna a channel so we're gonna our chafe. <laughs> can't remember what the word is. Okay. And, and we're gonna and make the these <laughs> corners kind of rounded a little. I'll hold it, you do it. And you my dad's teaching me how to use it since it's been quite a bit that of time. And this was kind of fun, man. Using this was a lot of fun, and my dad taught me a lot of things along the way. Good. Using my brain. This was fun doing. Have I said that too many times? So we're gonna make little triangles here. And my dad's rounding out the corners. So it looks nice. <laughs> and I'm now cutting off the corners. <laughs> Whoop, 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 whoop. And now one, two, we're three, gonna three, make it smoothed out. One, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> this was easy. I had to do like three for each edge. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> and now we're planing again with the base. <laughs> Hard to get this start. <laughs> and now we're doing the edges of the base. And my dad cut off the edges so it's rounded a little. A little. <laughs> this was really fun. Kind of. Doing this. Planing and chaffing. I can't get the word correct. <laughs> and using this tool again was kind of fun. And now here I'm making a design for the base. And I wanted a heart, so we're doing a triangular heart thing. And we're using craft glue, glue to, make, to make it stick on nice. That's stuck now. And here my dad's gonna teach me how to chisel out a design. He showed me how he was doing it. And I get to hit the, the chisel with the mallet. I've used mallets before. My dad's holding the chisel so it's easier for me. There's straight lines and curved lines. On curved lines, he showed me I'm gonna have to hit the chisel while it's moving. Gotta hit the base while it's still moving. And now I'm trying it out. And it's <laughs> fun and a little hard. Which, that's why it's hard. Fun, cause it's hard. hard. And my dad <laughs> says to always sharpen your tools cause it's safer when they're sharpened than when it's dull. Does that make sense? And now I'm hitting it again. And now I'm trying on my own. Since my dad showed me one way and now I'm learning a different way. So I can, I've done this like once. I can't quite remember, but this was a time where it was exciting. This was one of my most favorite parts of doing about this. Second favorite part. And my dad's, Keeping my hand steady. Last line to do. And finished. Just like that. And now he's teaching me how to scrape off the paper. This was a little hard since it was my first time scraping off the paper. Usually you can just peel off the paper. 
And now here we're rounding the edges of the pegs, the small pegs, using a file. <laughs> kind of reminds me of a nail file. And now we're sawing the screw so you can smell metal. And here we're using some finish to finish off this, using some oil. And here's the Among Us piece. Doesn't he kind of look like an Among Us character? And here's the finish on the white oak. Really gives it a pop. Doesn't look so white. <laughs> this was so much fun doing. This is my favorite part because... <laughs> don't you see it? Among Us character? Got to do an Among Us Now here we're wiping off my hands and... <laughs> I was supposed to wipe off the... Extra oil. That's wiping the peg. I'm wiping the Among Us character. It's like if you see the Among Us character as a true Among Us character. And now here I'm hitting in the peg on one side. And I'm now hitting in the square peg into the base. And this was fun. Pew, 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 pew. Until the circuit. The first circular peg hit there, and I put in the first circular peg. Now we're putting in the screw. Screw, screw, screw. Just gotta push it in. And now we're gonna bring in the nail. Put on the washer first. Then we put on the nut. <laughs> the nut. And I'm doing it with my hands, because it's fun and easier yes. but it was a little hard for my hands so my dad's getting it nice and tight a little friction but enough to move around <laughs> among us among us <laughs> and now here we're running through the wire for my desk lamp <laughs> this was quite a fun activity now we're get bringing in the bulb screwing it in <laughs> this was also one of my favorite parts. <laughs> also got to fix the lamp a little. Isn't it bright? It looks bright. Because <laughs> it is bright. So that's it for making my desk lamp. <laughs> this idea popped up a few weeks ago. So <laughs> and I've been planning on doing it. So this was a really fun project. Bye. Bye.